Hi, welcome to this third part of this tutorial showing how to make a Dragon Ball Super animation on Anime Studio. We have already drawn the basic shapes and done the rigging and we also started to animate. Now we will move on refining the shapes and drawing the details. For now, we will only refine the shapes and we will add the strokes later. We make sure that the shapes match with the original reference. I don't need to refine the shapes that won't be visible. It's a waste of time. Once we are done refining the shapes, we will start creating the strokes. For now, we will check what we get with the black color. To start, just select the head shape and activate the strokes. I don't really like to use black, even if in Dragon Ball Z the strokes are usually black. I prefer to use a color that comes from the filling color. For example, you copy paste the exacode of the fill color, paste it in the stroke color and decrease the tone. The color is now different, but it's not black. So we'll keep it for now. I chose a width of 2. We will see later if we need to change it. Let's start refining the shapes now. If I activate the stroke, here you can see that a stroke is showing in the middle of the ear. It's really not a problem, as you can just hide it. For the neck, there is not a lot of things to do, so it's very fast. We will start adding the strokes on the clothes. For the arm, I will not activate the stroke of the existing shape. Instead, I will add vectors for the details and folds from the clothes then, I will create a new shape with all the vectors from the layer. You can see that I'm adding details and I'm not stopping at the frame borders, because when we will animate, we might have some parts that might become visible. Something that I like to do is to select the stroke edges and decrease their width to 50%. It gives a better result. It's very important to take time to draw the necessary details. For now, we will move on drawing shaders and we will use the masking technique to save time since we will draw shades on separate layers. Create a new layer that you put in the existing group layer. Make sure to put it above all the layers of the same group. Just follow the reference and create the shapes with fill color only. Of course, do not use any stroke color. When you're done drawing the shaders, go to the group layer, masking tab, select hide all, in order to activate the masking. Then you go on the main forearm and upper arm layer settings. On the masking tab, select add to mask. For those two layers, make sure that the box exclude stroke is properly checked. Then repeat the same operation for the rest of the body. Once we are done with drawing the shades and masking them, 
We can move on with the face details. For the face animation, we will use a combination of point animation, smart bones and switch layers. Let's start drawing the eyebrows. In the head group layer, let's create a new vector layer named eyebrows. This layer will not be masked. When you create the shapes, you can directly apply strokes and also fill colors. Let's create another layer for the face strokes. We will also draw the nose in the same layer. But we won't draw the mouth yet. Regarding the mouth and eyes, I'm only going to use switch layers to make it look more like anime. For the mouth, we will have 3 to 4 layers. Let's create the first layer, based on the reference. We will name it H. There is no need to create a style because it's the only shape that will be colored that way. Once we are done with the first layer, let's directly create the other mouth shapes on different layers. The next shape will be on a new layer named M. And now we can see that we have a gap between the closed mouth position and the chin. To fix this, just move the chin in the mouth layer. Each mouth layer will have a chin corresponding to the mouth position. Then create a switch layer in which you will move the two newly created mouth layers. Let's create a third layer and name it ETC. Since we are totally creating it from scratch, we need to make sure that the shape is consistent with the rest of the head. Color this shape in white. Next mouth layer will be named O. In this layer, the mouth is shaped to pronounce a no, so the tongue and teeth won't be visible. Once it's done, we can switch through the different layers to refine the shapes. Let's move on the eyes. There will be three different layers for them. Opened, half closed and closed. So we need a switch layer in which we put all the eye layers. Draw the eye pupils in a layer located outside from the switch layer. Create another group in which you can put the eye pupils layer and also the eyelids switch layer. Then just activate masking in this newly created group. Then we will move on with the second eyelid position and create a layer for the half closed position. Once drawing this part is done, you can refine the details and fix all the flaws if you have some. When refining the details and fixing the flaws are done, just save the project. In the next part, we will continue with readjusting the rigging for all the new shapes that we created. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel to see more about this tutorial and also other animations that I'm doing.